The Russia-Ukraine war has dragged on for five months now, bringing misery and destruction at a scale that most did not expect in the 21st century. The latest Russia is preparing for the next stage of its offensive. Russia's defense chief has directed the troops to step up operations across Ukraine. He reviewed reports of commanders who are currently on the ground and even handed out awards for bravery. Meanwhile, Russian missiles reportedly struck residential buildings in the city of Nikopol, killing two people in the northeast region around Ukraine's Kharkiv. An overnight Russian missile attack killed three and left a few others injured. An elementary school in the town of Chuguiv was struck by rockets. However, no victims have been reported yet. In Kharkiv, three people were killed during a missile strike. Ukrainian officials say Russian shelling hit a residential area in the village, destroying two buildings and damaging a local hospital. Після обстрілу, коли зникло світло, до нас поступило два, дві людини легко, легкої ступені тяжесті і один чоловік, який потребував оперативного втручання. Також лікарі одягали ліхтарі, включали ми лампи і робили операцію. Coming to the town of Pokrovsk. In the Donetsk region, which was targeted on Friday, a woman narrated her shock and sadness as she witnessed her homes getting destroyed. Все это так неожиданно. Мы ничего и не поняли, кто был дома. Ну все, нет окон, нет крыш. Ну вот дом практически тоже снесен. И оно несколько вот так вот домов все посечено. Меня собака убила. Meanwhile, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky in his nightly address pledged to liberate countries' territories occupied by Russian forces. Ukraine has stood under the heavy attack of Russia. We have already managed to liberate the part of the territory that was occupied after the 24 th of July. We have managed to liberate the other regions of our country, which are now under occupation. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.